And now it's time for development debates, where we dig deeper into some of the questions shaping the future and present of China. Today we will see two Chinese experts debate if cooperation between Sinopec and Tencent will bring mutual benefits to the two companies. Recently, one of China's largest state-owned petroleum enterprises, Sinopec, announced to cooperate with Chinese IT company Tencent to explore online to offline businesses. The cooperation will target Sinopec's convenience stores called Yijie. These stores are located at Sinopec's gas stations throughout the country. As of now, Sinopec has 30,000 gas stations that Tencent could also access. Furthermore, by the end of last year, there were over 23,000 Yijia convenience stores. However, due to the lack of operational experience, Sinopec only made a 13 billion yuan or about 2 billion US dollar in revenue last year from these stores. Sinopec hopes this cooperation with one of China's leading IT companies, Tencent, will help develop online to offline businesses for Yijia grocery stores. These businesses will focus on online payment, big data services, and digital navigation. Financial commentator Zhang Ping believes the cooperation between the two companies will bring mutual benefits to them both. Zhang wrote on his blog that Tencent has the widest user resource in China. The cooperation will bring hundreds of millions of internet users to the store's online businesses. Zhang points out that in gas stations in other countries, Profits made from non-fuel-related businesses is much more than what's seen in Chinese gas stations. Simply put, as of now, most Chinese people solely go to gas stations to buy gas, or 99% of Sinopec sales are from fuel sales. However, in foreign countries, many consumers spend money on food and other products. In fact, the revenue from non-refueling businesses could be even 20-folds higher compared to China. Sinopec has no experience in developing non-refueling businesses through its Yijia grocery stores. Thus, the company must look for help from companies like Tencent. Zhang also believes this partnership will benefit Tencent. In Zhang's article, he mentions that Tencent has considerable internet user resources. But until now, they don't have a wide range of physical stores to develop online to offline businesses. Tencent needs to figure out how to cultivate internet users' habits to support its online to offline businesses. However, an article by financial commentator Lao Tie doesn't support Zhang's theories. The article points out that the cooperation between Sinopec and Tencent is only focused on non refueling businesses. Sinopec will not allow Tencent access to its core businesses. The article explains the cooperation will hardly mutually benefit the two companies. But Lao Tia does believe the cooperation will be more beneficial for Tencent rather than Sinopec. Lao uses car service businesses as an example. Most Chinese car owners prefer going to one or two fixed stores for car maintenance. Staff in these stores are more familiar with the car's condition and car owner's demands. Developing online to offline businesses can help to reduce car maintenance service prices a little bit. But that may not persuade Chinese car owners to choose another store. The cooperation, regardless, is quite significant for Tencent. The article says Tencent will have access to Sinopec's grocery stores and its more than 20 million visitors each day to develop its online to offline businesses. The company won't have to spend too much money to achieve this, and it might bring in extra revenue when the online to offline businesses mature. The crucial point in developing online to offline businesses is a need for a large amount of offline physical stores to support online businesses. Tencent cooperating with Sinopec will combine 23,000 grocery stores with Tencent's online services. And there is a lot of room for Tencent to be creative in how to develop their future business models. Yet, if Sinopec guards access to their stores, the cooperation might not work.